And it is EMS week, emergency medical services. The folks who show up when you call 911, especially close to my heart is my husband, uh, works for Meridian Fire Department and has for almost 15 years. And we here in the Treasure Valley are so lucky. Some ER physicians, because it was EMS week, were asked what they thought about the EMTs and the paramedics around here. Uh, Dr. Ben Cornett had this to say. I started out as an EMT and paramedic and ski patroller, uh, working all the way through. This is my sixth state that I've worked in. And I will say, hands down, I have never been more impressed with the quality, the compassion, the commitment to excellence that our Treasure Valley providers provide. And I think that really needs to be celebrated in this week. Absolutely. So what is it that you can do Mm. to celebrate uh, our EMS workers? It could be something as simple as just, you know, sticking your hand out the window and waving it up when the ambulance goes by. If you see one going by with the sirens blaring and lights going on, pray, Mm -hmm. you know, for, for them and for whoever they're going to help. Um, or if you even want to share with us a story of, of what, uh, you know, the EMS has done for you, I'll never forget the time we had to have them to my house to, you know, take care of my wife years ago. Mm-hmm. Such amazing people. Feel free to share that story with us. It is EMS week, those times that you have called 911 and that that response has made a difference in your life. I have a story I wanted to share. It's very dear to my heart. (laughs) Um, A couple of years ago, um, our daughter, um, who has a lot of mental health issues, had a really bad um, attempt on her life. And we had responsible from the CUNA um, area as well as the Ada County Sheriff and the Meridian. And... They were just amazing. They took as much care of me as they did my daughter. And even went so far as to stay behind and clean up everything that had happened so that I wouldn't have to. Fortunately, they got there in time, and she's doing well, and she's healthy. I tell you, they're amazing. And to think of what they're having to go through, the emotional side of things, as well as you know, doing their job, doing yeah. their day-to-day job mm-hmm. um, is amazing. And I have so much gratitude um, towards them. And I think not just the Boise Meridian, but the whole Valley, we have got amazing responders. And uh, I do, I perform all, all the time. Every time I drive past a, a fire station, I think, oh, I wonder what these poor guys are dealing with today. And... Uh, I'm just really grateful for him. Since then, um, it's actually been almost exactly two years ago, she has asked God into her life, and Mm. she's doing fantastic. 89.5 KTSY. We are Dave and Tristy. As if we need more spotlights on the providers in our valley that, that come. When you call 911, it just happens to be EMS week. Yep. And we have been looking at our first responders so much differently in these last two months. Would love to hear how that call changed life for you. Yeah, we hope you never have to find yourself in the back of an ambulance. Right. Uh, if, you, if, if you are, you will find out firsthand how amazing these people are. About four years ago, uh, all of the platelets had disappeared from my blood. It was kind of serious. That's weird. And they had to transport me from St. Luke's on Eagle to St. Luke's downtown by ambulance. And <laughs> first thing I remember, mm-hmm. those gurneys are comfortable. No, they're not. <laughs> well, then I got the nice one. <laughs> it was it was nice. But the two gals that were tending to me in the uh, back of the ambulance were just amazing and mm-hmm. caring and wonderful and just all the questions they had to ask and all the things. And uh, they were so wonderful, I took a selfie with them. Oh, of course you I did. I did, yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> so fast forward like a year after that, my family and I are at a restaurant getting something to eat, and one of the gals were in there, and I didn't recognize her immediately, and she said, Dave, right? What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And she goes, I was, you know, one of the EMTs in the ambulance. I went, oh, of course you are. Aww. And she goes, how you doing these days? Does everything work out okay? And I said, yeah. I mean, the fact that she would remember so much longer and then immediate, immediately mm-hmm. just want to know how I'm doing, that, my friend, is how awesome the folks in EMS are. Dave and Tristy in the morning. Join in at 208-442-8950. And we're talking about EMS week and 
those responders that come and and those lives that are being changed just like that. Love to hear your story. Do you have one for us this morning? Yeah, about, uh, I don't know, about 18 months ago, uh, my uh, two and a half year old daughter, she had was incredibly sick and she woke up and then she started to uh, have seizures mm. and that wasn't normal. And so, of course, called 911. I previously had an opportunity. I went through EMT school and served with some people in North Carolina as well as um, up in the northern states with fire rescue. But just to not have the tools and equipment and the know-how, you know, definitely can put you in a position of concern, uh, especially when it's your own precious kid. And yes. sure, sure enough, Johnny on the spot, um, the Cobble Fire Department showed up. And then also, the I think it was Canyon County Paramedics. They yeah. were shortly after. Mm-hmm. And they really just helped evaluate the situation, took all the vitals, but their response was incredible. And then even when I called and said, okay, what do I owe you guys? For this, they said, "Hey, you know what? We didn't transport. We didn't do anything. Don't worry about it." And they just, and they just, you know, and I didn't have any insurance, so oh, they just completely were like, "Hey, you guys are good." And that was pretty much it. I mean, and they were, and it was a huge, huge relief, answer to prayer, just to have those uh, professionals. I've had the opportunity to to work with some of the best uh, before I moved down here, uh, and train with some of the best on the East Coast, and just be on the back end. Um, a huge shout out and to keep praying for them. They definitely deal with a lot and have to just keep on going and put themselves in the front line. So a huge thanks and anyone who's in any of those police, fire, EMS, medical positions. Uh, God bless you. and Thank you so much. We are honoring the the people who work in the EMS, the EMTs, all the first responders that come save us when we need it the most when you call 911. Uh, who is this? <laughs> this is Chris from Middleton. Hi, Chris in Middleton. What's your story? Okay, so back in 1980, I was 16. I was driving to work down Chinden, just past Eagle, headed east, and there was a semi-parked, flat that semi-parked in my lane that I didn't see, and I ran my car underneath the trailer. Well... I came within two inches of being decapitated. But Girl, that's I, intense. Yeah, Whoa. My, my, my door flung open. I walked out. Ooh. The only thing I had was whiplash, and I hit the rear view, or, yeah, the rear view mirror. You know, so I had two black eyes. It didn't look very good for a while. But uh. nine years later, I have my daughter on that same day. Whoa. Wow. And I received Christ. Yeah, I received Christ into my life when I was 14. And my mom reminded me of that on her birth was what day that was. The paramedics and the fire department, I mean, throughout the city, they'd heard about this accident and had no idea how I walked away from it. You know, I've been in Life Light once since then, out in the Owyhees, and they're amazing. Yeah. And it takes a very special person to be in the emergency. David Tristy. 